Welcome back, and thanks again for joining us. I hope you're enjoying the 2020 Embedded Vision Summit so far. This is the last day of the live program of the 2020 Embedded Vision Summit. When we realized back in February that this year's summit would have to be an online event, we set out to learn as much as we could, as fast as we could, about how to create an effective online event. We got lots of advice from lots of people. Some of the best advice came from NVIDIA's events team, which had quickly converted their own annual conference to an online event. One of the things they told us was that it takes more people to run an online event than a comparable face-to-face -face event. And at the time, I remember thinking, that sounds ridiculous. How could that possibly be? Well, six months later, I can tell you it's completely true. There are so many moving parts that have to mesh to make an online event run smoothly, and some things are just harder online. In an in-person event, a single operations person can keep an eye on what's going on in several adjacent rooms, for example. Online, that doesn't really work. And while shifting to an online event, we tried to hold ourselves to the very high standards of quality content and smooth logistics that we've set over the past few years. For example, this is the only industry conference that I know of where every presentation uh, has a draft reviewed by a subject matter expert and every presenter gets feedback to help make their talk as good as it can be and as relevant as it can be. In total, roughly 200 people have been directly involved in creating this year's Embedded Vision Summit, including about 100 speakers and dozens of moderators, facilitators, and tech hosts. There are far more people to thank than I can name individually here, but I do want to thank everyone who's contributed to making this event successful. Thank you.